Hi, friends. I'm telling you, little Lala is all over it now. I just don't understand it myself. Right, little Lala? I guess she realizes that something goes on when the candles are lit and, and she sees the decks. <laughs> what is it, little Lala? You just want to, you know, say hello? Well, that's good. Okay, well, you're going to be, can you sit over there, little Lala? Okay? Thank you. Oh, well, all right. We'll do what you want right now. <laughs> Probably why I didn't have kids, because I'd let them do whatever they wanted. <laughs> They'd be wild childs. <laughs> okay, well, today we're doing the full moon in Aquarius, July 22nd, 2013. And um, before I start, I have some positive news that I wanted to share. Um, you know, I dropped the Orisha videos, right? And I love my Orishas, and I've been involved in this tradition since I was a little girl. And my family all were involved with it. And um, my videos are being featured on a Santeria.tv website. And I'm just so Twitter pated. I'm, I'm like, wow. So I'm very excited. So I'm going to add that link. But, um, you know, I just. Uh, the Orishas brought me to the YouTube channel, actually. They're the ones that coached me and coaxed, coaxed me to do it. And um, I was like, well, you know, I don't think we should bring out the Orishas. And then, you know, their vibe was, just start with Archangel Michael. And that's how it all started for me back in uh, November 2011. So it's been a little bit, but so I'm very excited and and, and they just take care of me. You see how they take care of me, my friends? My videos are, and I had no idea, okay? Had no idea. Um, my friend Jill sent me the link. She saw it, and uh, now I can share it with you. So it's very exciting. But, um, yes, we're going to do this full moon in Aquarius. And, I do, and, you know, watch those astrologers. They can tell you all about it, you know, but, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it's also the sun is in Leo, so and Leo rules the heart. So the cards are set up, and I, I do want to bring out the Zorak book in, for one momento here, because um, because Aquarius is an air sign, um, I wanted to go by his book, and and it speaks of the heart chakra. He he says um, that the heart chakra, the, the color dominant color is green. The musical note is fa, the element is air, and the element, elemental and dominant forces are the fairies and the sylphs. So what I have done, I have brought out my Archangel Raphael for the heart chakra, the green healing. Um, my little Lala. And then I brought out my Aquarian Tarot because we're in the, you know, Aquarian scenario. And we know that that's about being independent and original and you know, Aquarius, you know, all about community and friends and getting people organized. So we'll see what comes out of that. And because Lucy Cavendish's Fairy Oracle always um, works pretty good for me, I'm going to harness these um, elementals this evening. So I felt that was pretty good. So uh, the musical note is fa. So if you hear me say fa, <laughs> then we know we're lining up, okay? But because the sun is also in Leo, and Leo is ruled by the sun, okay, I wanted to bring out this card from the um, Heart and Soul deck, which I really like this deck. Um, I really do. And um, here is the symbol here, okay? And also, uh, because of the sun, it rules the heart too. So, And look at the, the Ankh. The lion is holding there. It's a beautiful card. But I'm going to um, open with this, and then we'll select the cards um, to see how this goes, okay? So I'll stand up to hold the card here. But, uh, and this heart and soul cards are by um, lovely author Angela McGear. All right. And um, it's kind of powerful introduction. Solar Lion with Ankh of the Sun Lords. This card, igniting the sun within, true power of will and mind. And the links are 
Archangel Raphael, Mazurel, and Hermes Trismegistos, which is Thoth, which I believe is Thoth. It's not written in the book, but that's what I believe. Okay, indomitable lion of the solar lords reminds you that the sun provides life force, energy, and planet Earth exists under the solar logos. With yellow gold rays, he helps you unlock the true force of will and intent. First, work with him to ignite the power of Earth's sun by breathing it into your solar chakra and extending it then to revitalize all energy centers. Now for loving intent, breathe in moon, luna power to balance through the heart. This is a key step to healing, mastery of body and mind. Then go further if lion beckons you on, urging you to have the will to strive towards oneness of spirit with the Christ consciousness energy emanating from our central universal sun. From there, the way of love and light leads you to Mazurel, the central sun of all central suns, sacred heart of the creator. Such bliss is a gift of spirit to be used with care to benefit all life and is gained only through the open heart. With unity of heart's desire and soul purpose, Solar Lion also offers the Ankh of resurrection and everlasting life. Then you unlock further spiritual power and can achieve anything. Even the perfect divine self as the Ankh opens the door to time's eternal secrets. Well, thank you, Jesus, here. So I thought that was a wonderful card to open up. And because we're lining up with the um, scenarios, what is in Zorak's book also, I think we're ready to go, okay? So again, I'm working with the color green for the heart chakra, Archangel Raphael. And then I'm working with my uh, psychic tarot, which I don't use too much on YouTube, but I wore this deck out back in the day. I, I recommend this deck, and it also works with this book called the Psychic Tarot, okay? So it's a combo scenario. But we'll be reading from the book, because that's how I like to do it. And then working with the fairy oracle of Lucy Cavendish. And I'm wearing my solar sun shirt. Okay? Alrighty, my friends. And you know how we like to do it. So just um, get comfortable. Oh, I didn't like my incense. So let's like this little stick here. And this incense comes from Japan. A friend of mine gave it to me and it smells delightful also. So, um, I, I haven't used the other incense yet because I have a plan of action because I'm going to do a beautiful special video for the Orishas. So every gift that was given to me, presented to me, I'm going to be using it. So I just want you to know that. And, um, and tomorrow I'll drop my Isis video too with that other special incense from my gal, Lady Libra. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get comfy. And remember to position yourself, and um, we'll pick nine cards, and we'll see how this full moon in Aquarius begins, okay? And um, also, uh, the ruling planet of Aquarius is um, Uranus, so, or Uranus, however you pronounce it, but it's all about technology, too, so it rules technology. But we're going to move forward with our heart centers today, okay? And we're going to become, you know... It's all about, we've been talking about transformation forever, and now we're going to talk about how, you know, we're going to be unique, be yourself. And if you people know me, I always write, be yourself, be unique, be you. And that's what we're going to do, okay? And, and you know, I was unique, and Santaria has helped me a lot. Again, we'll talk more because I'm going to, I'm going to drop a fabulous, fabulous, video for my Orishas. Orishas de Yoruba. Okay, this card right there, first card. 
All right. Okay, I'm talking too much, so let's get grounded here. Deep breathe. And exhale slowly. Four cards from Archangel Raphael. Okay, my dears, cards are on the table, and I'm going to do a little snip of my lavender. And uh, here we go. Let us express our freedom. And let us begin. The Queen of Wands has opened up the gathering here. Wonderful. It's the Queen of Rods, but we're familiar that that's the Wands, too. And again, I used to write these in these cards a lot, so kind of hiding some of the script myself because I've got people's initials on there. But Queen of Rods, and we know she's a fire sign, so we've got the Queen of Fire in here. That is, that is home help. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels and others in matters regarding my family and home. And this is, look at this card, isn't that kind of, wow, this beautiful stallion and he's got, it looks like, it's like butterfly but yet like even a hawk feathers. Looks like more like bird feathers than the butterfly feathers. And he's holding the med medicinal staff there. So definitely, I'm not familiar with this. I'm not familiar with Archangel Raphael's deck too much, but here we go. Do more research. Wow. I'm thinking about my lady over there. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. Okay, well, I am telepathically sending this card out to my gal pal there. Okay, and then we'll continue with increased energy that's a, this is a lovely card I've always loved this card this card I recognize look at the image right there it's the rainbow colors and he's coming from his heart chakra with the sh with that love shine okay with that heart's desire right this is beautiful dear Archangel Raphael thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine love and light look at that is that just not beautiful? Oh, I think I love this card. I think this one has to be my favorite image. And then, of course, the words are gorgeous. All right. And then, oh, we have the star card. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? And isn't this crazy? The star card is the Aquarius card. <laughs> the star card is the Aquarius, the water bearer. Okay? 
this is about intuition and hope, 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 and wishes and idealism and you know all the rest. But we'll we'll read from the Aquarian Tarot. But I've always loved this card because this bird, you know, I brought even my macaw feathers out. Look at that. My bird, my Maxwell. And so it, it, it kind of represents a peacock, but I don't, it's more like a, a I would, you know, consider it a, more of a macaw. That's what I'm going to say. Well, the Aquarius sign has come through. Lovely. Okay, now we have the Page of Pentacles. And this is um, an earth coin sign about monetary values. Okay, and this is a court card, no doubt about it. But usually the page is, um, and the knave, you know, it, this is a man because he's wearing a mustache there. But um, wonderful. So we'll read about him. But we've got the earth element with us now. And then we have, I'll pick up all the cards. Acorns Invitation touch exchange connection and I do think this is about um kind of romantic card here about finding love so we'll continue reading what number is this 17 okay and 17 is the star card number so we've got another representation of Aquarius in the house very nice I like it I like it yeah yeah he's this is a nice card Okay, consult a nutritionist. And here we're talking about, you know, uh, Archangel Raphael is all about the heart chakra and healing. Okay, he's another healing angel. So we have, dear Archangel Raphael, I turn my eating over to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that taste good, are fulfilling, and support my ideal health and weight. But we've only been talking about that for a year, right, my friends? You know, watch your diet. Get off the processed foods, you know. You start getting into more organic, okay? No GMO. X, X, GMO. Hasta la vista, GMO. And Monsanto. Adios, amigos. Okay, like the darkness. Ancestors, ancestral line, generational shift. I know this is a powerful card right here, my friends. I know it. And this is number 14, which usually is the Temperance card, which is another lovely card. The Temperance card is, uh, if in the Major Arcana, if I have the top three, it, this card comes through. I don't know. I just feel that this is a lovely card. Okay. Light, the darkness, ancestors, ancestral line, generational shift. So we have the ancestors on board, too. Okay. So we're going to go to the first card. Uh, I'm going to pick up. First, the uh, Aquarius and then the fairies, and we have had time, then I'll read from the Archangel Raphael, but pretty much that's straightforward. But we are going to go to the Queen of Rods. Okay, so we've got some fire action in the house, in La Casa. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Here she is. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, so, Queen of Rods. A queen faces forward wearing a simple pink robe. Her hair is set in a single long braid which hangs over her right shoulder. A flowering rod stands to her right and a partly seated sunflower to her left, indicating her spirituality and her deep connection to nature. Meaning, a gentle, loving woman, kind and caring to all, and devoted to her family. She stands for honor, loyalty, dignity, patience, spirituality, and the love of nature. May also indicate success in business or finances. Well, that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it, my friends? We all need a little bit of that, no doubt. Lovely. Okay, well, thank you, Queen of Rods, to open up our gathering here. Thank you very much. Okay, now we go to the Aquarius card that came through. I love it. Major Arcana, number 17. So nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, 
and the star card here is um a peacock. It is a peacock. It is a peacock. Okay. A peacock, a symbol of beauty and immortality of the spirit, rests on a bush which has berries in full ripeness. Overhead and centered between two barren cliffs, a multicolored and geometrically intricate star shines. I know I love that star too. It's so beautiful. This deck, I, I really like this deck. I should bring it out more often, but I, I keep it for my personal self, really. Okay. Intricate star shines. Its radiance offers hope, faith, and inspiration to all who look upon it. The star is the symbol for a spirit shining through the problems that envelop it. The star shines brightly in a field of darkness, just as our soul is able to overcome earthly limitations and express its true spiritual nature. Stars represent the beauty and divine wisdom of the creator of the universe and are looked upon as a source of hope and inspiration. They inspire a sense of order and a knowledge of the existence of a higher intelligence. They remind us of our short time on earth and draw forth the feeling that there must be more beyond our present comprehension, giving hope to those who glimpse, let me see, hold on. Giving hope to those who glimpse the higher spiritual message contained in them. The stars convey the message of continuity and the divine purpose of existence. A grandmother gazing at the night sky knows that her great-grandchildren will stand in her place and see the same complex patterns and feel the same feelings as did her great-grandmother. Well, here we go. We have some ancestors speaking through this card. So I'm looking forward to read the um, ancestor card, no doubt. Okay. The, for millennia, seamen, um, seamen, S-E-A-M-E-N, have relied on the fixity of the celestial patterns to guide their ships toward distant shores. The sh shining star guided the three wise men to Bethlehem in the accounts of the birth of Jesus. The star's message is to aspire toward the state of mind whereby you realize the cosmic light that dwells within and see its connectedness with the greater light. In a flash of inspiration, you experience oneness with the cosmic light. In mysticism, this is called cosmic consciousness. In Buddhism, satori. And the main meaning of this, or the divinatory meaning, insight, inspiration, courage, and enlightenment from the spiritual self, a time of new hopes, wonderful visions of the future, broadening horizons, realization can be from astrological influ influences, healing of body and mind, health and happiness. And here we go. That's what we were trying to work with Archangel Raphael to heal us. And already we understand that he wants us, and I'll pick these cards because we brought it up, and then we'll put them to the side, I believe. But this is how we have to heal, okay? Well, home, home help. Dear God and Archangel, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels, and others. So get on board with your angels, my friends. We talk about that forever, too. Do more research, okay? And thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health, okay? Very important. Increased energy. Thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine and increased energy. Exercise, my friends. Get outdoors. Walk. Circulate. A circulatory workout, okay? You don't have to, again, not, you know, don't be intimidated by going to the gym. Just get outdoors, okay? And consult a nutritionist, okay? Organic foods. That's come up many times before. And I'll set these to the side. So now we're going to the Page of Pentacles. And this is the earth sign. And look, I wrote this back. Spiritual faith. Okay, we got to have spiritual faith, people, for the psychic tarot. Spiritual faith. All righty. And for the pentacles. Okay, here we go. Page of pentacles. A, and the description. A page stands against a blue sky with soft clouds. He stares intently at the large pentacle he is holding. 
as if in contemplation. He wears a feather beret secured by a plain chin strap. A swath of material flows from the left side of the beret to the right shoulder, suggesting left brain dominance. Hmm. Okay, meaning a serious a serious minded and scholarly youth who represents diligence and hard work. A young person who is inquisitive and open to new ideas, but may be opinionated and critical, can also indicate a messenger bringing news, information, and advice. Okay, well, I'm not sure if I'm digging too much about that um, left brain dominance, you know what I'm saying, my friends, right? We should have a little more, um, you know, love, lovey, lovey, but, you know, it's just, uh, that's how he is, but, okay, we'll give him that satisfaction. How about that? All right, and then we'll go to the um, Fairy Oracle deck by Miss Lucy Cavendish, and we have Acorn's Initiation. Okay, yes. Let's see what Acorn number 17 is, and we'll go to the divinatory meaning. And here we have... This card also represents a beautiful man, physically appealing, earthy in nature, well in body, healthy in sexual appetite, who has a strong association with the archetype of Robin Hood or Robin Goodfellow. He has something of the fawn or satyr or pan about him. Pan, pan, remember, you know who pan is, right, my friends? Okay, and while he is a man, truly he is also there to help his woman by loving and honoring her physicality. A unique aspect of the fairy realm is that it honors both the goddess and the god. Fairies teach us to be vital, to be healthy, and that part of this is, is to glory in our physical selves and our physical desires. This fairy man is not talking about a kind of base physical gratification, a filling up of a void, an appetite sated, he is speaking of true, communal, healing, loving touch. As his fingers, as his fingers caress the earth, so he represents and loves the woman, the feminine, the mother, the crone, the maiden. He reminds us that when he he reminds us that when we touch something, we are in communion with it. We are at one with it. Touch is an energy communion and an exchange between two or more people or beings. No one can touch and be left unchanged. When we touch with fairy fingers, super sensitive and fully aware and conscious, we experience the sublime and make better choices about who we touch and who touches us and why. Massage, lovemaking, earthy sensuality, touch therapies. Okay, well, that's what I thought. The little romance going on with the acorns invitation. But it's all about that positive touch, okay? Positive touch. And then we'll go to the light of darkness here. And um, we'll be seeing what this card has to say. Last card. Listen to elders. Find a playful, wise elder from whom you can learn. Seek out relatives and ancestor wisdom. Search through your family tree for evidence of the magics within you. They are there. Old wise ones have messages for you and you can learn much from them. Allow them to pass on their wisdom to you as the living tradition continues. Allow them to pass on their, excuse me, Allow them to pass on their wisdom to you as a living tradition continues. Understand that you come from a long line of wise ones and connect with those elders. A chance encounter with an older person gives you much to think about. You will learn a great deal at this time if you connect with older people. Do not be afraid of growing older. You will never die. Your light will be passed on and your soul spark will return to source, to starfire, to be renewed again, only as you agree to. Well, wonderful. And I have to say, 
that these are my ancestors in the house right here. They've taught me a lot. And you can see now, again, you know, I don't talk too much about myself, but I am very excited about being on, you know, my videos featured on the Santa Maria TV website because this is how I have evolved, okay? So, if you can relate to ancestors, and I also love my Native Americans and my Mayan Lord, but since a little girl, and my video that will come, I will tell you how we would sit and have our seances and invoke the Orishas. That's the video that's going to come. And look, it came up through the fairies, okay? Because the Orishas are all about and they are earth deities, okay? They are earth deities, deities, you know, pronunciations, but that's what they represent. And that's why they're easy to tap because they walked on the earth realm and they still do. They're connected to earth, you know, the ocean, the rivers. They're just what is connected so and Zorak I give credit to Zorak because that's what they're highlighting the tarot of the Orishas on that um, website alright my friends well this was the full moon video in Aquarius put your crystals out there make your gem water okay I, I've already started mine but I didn't bring it out I figured you know people you just gotta do it on your own okay but I'm going to go this evening and have my crystals done. I've got some soaking in some sea salt right now. So make it happen for yourselves. All right, my friend. Thank you. Remember, think with your heart. Okay, it's all about the heart. El corazón. That's what makes us bloom. And, and then we can have beautiful touch like this from our heart. Okay? That's where it comes from, people. Love and light, I believe. You know, and yes, there's balance with the darkness, and I think that's very normal and, and positive. But to ascend towards the light, it comes from the heart, okay? This third dimension, we balance the dark with the light. But going to the next ascension, it's all about the heart, love, and light. Okay? All right. Peace out, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a lovely full moon in Aquarius. Thank you for watching. Ciao.